Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple scratch game called Pop the Balloon. So let's get right into it. First you're going to delete the sprite and choose another sprite. I'm going to do a balloon. Go to costumes and pick one of the colours. I'll stick with blue. Next you're going to pick the size you want. The smaller the balloon is, the harder the game will be. I think that size will be good for me. There we go. Mm, maybe a bit bigger actually. There, that's perfect. Next, you're going to go into coding section and in the events, get the one green flag clicked. Under that, go to control and get forever. Next, you're going to go to motion and grab the go to XY. In there, you're going to pick random to minus 200 to 200. Do a smaller number first. Scratch usually expects that. Put that in the X. In the Y, you're going to put minus 180. There we go. Now, you're going to grab the glide one second and turn that to two seconds. Then you're going to get the X position you find in the bottom of the motion, sh motion section. And then in Y, 180. Now, put this in here. I think I'm going to make my size actually like that. There we go. Now as you see, the balloon goes up. Perfect. Okay, now let's do the rest. Go back to events. And when this bright clicked, go to variables and make a new variable called um, score for all sprites. When green flag clicked, set score to zero. Actually, when the sprite clicked, change score by one. There we go. Now under that, Grab the forever block and then get an if then inside that. There we go. Now go to operators and pick the equal sign. In the 50, you're going to put zero. And then in the other one, you're going to put time left, which is going to be a new variable you're going to make now. Time left. Now you're going to grab time left and if time left equals zero, then you're going to go to costumes and you're going to make a new one. This is going to be like your costume is what's going to be at the very end. So when you lose, it's going to be like game over. There we go. I finished designing mine. Now you can go back to coding. And if time left equals zero, go to looks and switch costume to costume one. And go back to motion. Go to zero zero there you go now when green flag clicked you're going to return it back to our original costume so squish switch costume to balloon there we go now when green flag clicked again you're going to set score to zero There you go. Now we can even make a timer. So you can go when green flag clicked again. Set time left. 2.30. This is going to be how long you want. So if I do 30, my time is going to be 30 seconds. Set time left to 30. And repeat until. There we go. Now I'll go back to operators and put that as zero. And variables put in time left. There you go. I repeat time left. And then go to control section and grab the wait one second block. And under that, variables change score by one. Actually, change time left by one. There we go. 
Now let's try that out. As you see, there's 30 seconds. Wait a minute, I made a mistake here. Instead of change time left by one, you can change it by minus one. There. Now as you see, there's a timer, 29, 28, and every time I hit the balloon, it goes score plus one. I goes you guys and hope I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Watch part two to see adding new balloons and even trying out new stuff. See you in the next one.